السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين خالق السماوات والأرضين ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الأمين المبعوث رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين وصحبه المكرمين وبارك وسلم وبعد We praise Allah سبحانه وتعالى The creator, the maintainer, and the sustainer of the entire universe And may peace and blessings of Allah سبحانه وتعالى Be showered upon the beloved of Allah the most beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the may some peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be showered upon the blessed companions and the, the holy family members of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Alhamdulillah We uh, really thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for His mercy and His bounty that uh, He have permitted you and myself to come closer to the blessed month of the holy Ramadan and we ask Him to uh, uh, let us uh, give us a chance to see the holy month of Ramadan. Amen. And as the holy month of Ramadan comes, each and every Muslim who has Iman, he becomes so much excited. And this is because of the blessings and the, uh, the rewards that the holy month of Ramadan brings to us. Uh, we have to know that uh, all the rewards and the blessings that are in the holy month of Ramadan can be gained. Uh, in full if we do what please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we can be losers if we don't do what please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have to know that if we spend our days in the holy month of Ramadan in sleeping and spend our nights awake doing things that do not please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doing things that do not uh, benefit us then we have to know that doing so will make us losers of the rewards of uh, the holy month of Ramadan. We have to spend our days in making ibadat as much as we can and also we can spend our nights in making ibadat or sleeping or things that benefit you and myself uh, as much as uh, as possible, as, uh, as much as possible, as much as we can and that will uh, make us get enough and full rewards in this month of Ramadan. And we have to know that the Prophet said in the hadith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in need, is not in need of any anyone's fasting. The one who does not stop from lying or does not stop from backbiting and he or oh, acting upon the backbiting or acting upon their lies. But if a person does not stop the backbiting and also does not stop acting upon it, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in need of his fasting, is not in need of his stopping himself from uh, eating and drinking. We have to stay away from that. And we have to know that spending this holy month of Ramadan or doing this holy month of Ramadan, things that do not please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, makes us losers. For example, if a person uh, looks at something that is haram, spending his time and looking at things that are haram, or listening to things that are haram, then does uh, will make us losers in this holy month of Ramadan. Let us all intend that as the holy month of Ramadan uh, approaches, let me try and uh, read all my prayers, read all my farad prayers with congregation, and that will it's 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 a matter. It, it it will be for us. It will be a training. This is the month of training. We train as much as we can to do things that are good. As the holy month of Ramadan goes or completes, we might be still be there uh, doing those things. We, let's, let's train, let's try, let's intend that as this holy month of Ramadan comes, we should not miss Jamaat. And we intend that we are going to complete our, the, our holy Quran as, as, as many times as we can. And we should also intend to do most of the things that are good, like giving sadaqah, you know, helping people, and spending our times in, 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 in good things, uh, showing goodnesses to our parents, you know, being obedient to them. When we be obedient to them, then Alhamdulillah, Allah will reward us. And we have to know that each and every action of goodness, each and every act of goodness that we do in the Surah month of Ramadan, Allah will multiply the reward for it and it will bring a lot of blessings to us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permit us to do as much goodness as possible in this holy month of Ramadan so that we can uh, get the rewards and the blessings of Ramadan in full in this holy month insha'Allah. I would like to uh, wish you 
رمضان مبارك رمضان كريم شكرا اور ان ادفانس والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته